Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the beta channel and also the release preview channel, which means that these updates that we're, you're gonna see in this new Windows 11 Insider Preview build will very soon be available on the main build of Windows 11. So the newest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the beta channel is 22K.346. And this build brings up a lot of important fixes to the OS. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the most important fixes for me personally that were applied in this new version and of course if you want to see the whole list of fixes you can check out the article down below in the description where you'll see the whole list of fixes from this new Windows 11 Insider Preview build 22k.346. Before starting anything don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So now let's begin with the video. Microsoft applied some fixes to certain USB print installers. So for example, they fixed an issue that affects USB print devices that support internet printing protocol IPP over USB. This issue prevents those USB print devices from completing installation. Also, they fixed an issue that caused certain USB print installers to report that they don't detect the printer after you plug it in. So that is really cool. If you had printer issues on Windows 11, with this new build, they should be fixed. Also, Microsoft fixed an issue in the Windows audio system that might cause the audio DG.exe process to stop working, which can result in a temporary loss of audio. So if you had issues like this with your audio, temporary losses of audio in this build, they should be fixed. Another important change for me is that Microsoft enhanced the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint's ability to identify and intercept ransomware in advanced attacks. This is really good. Regarding emojis, Microsoft updated several aspects of Windows emoji. They updated all emoji in the Seago UI emoji font to the fluent 2D emoji style. They also included support for emoji 13.1, which updated the emoji dictionary, added the ability to search for emoji 13.1 in all supported languages, and they also updated the emoji and more panel so you can enter emoji in your applications. Some fixes regarding the taskbar, they fixed an issue that caused flickering when you hovered over icons on the taskbar. This issue occurred if you've applied a high contrast theme. They also improved the animation performance of icons on the taskbar, so that is really, really good. They also fixed volume control issues that affect certain Bluetooth audio devices, and they also fixed an issue that caused File Explorer to stop working after you close a File Explorer window. So for me, these are the most important fixes in this build. As I've said, go and check out the article down below in the description and there you can see the whole list of fixes that were applied in this new Windows 11 build for the beta channel. If you find this video useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.